New shooter coverage of IBC 2024 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Adamos, and b and I'm Eric Nason with NewShooter.com. We are at IBC 2024. I'm with Ted from Aperture, my friend. How are you? Hello, Eric, good to see you. It's always great to see you. Nice to see you too. And also, it's always great to see Aperture innovating. Yeah. This is a new product, the, the 1200X, the Storm 1200X. Could I say that this is sort of like the first baby from the merger with ProLite? Can I say that? You could say that in many ways. There's many things we've been working on for a very long time. It's a bunch of incremental improvements that go beyond the incremental improvement by itself. It's basically warranted an entirely new line here. The storm fixtures are coming out, starting off with the 1200X. So, you want me to walk into this? Let's. Just walk me through. Tell me what's Let's going on. This. Okay, so starting off again, why is it called Storm? Because it's not just an incremental improvement. It's not just a different wattage. We're first kicking off with our Blair Color Engine. So the Blair Color Engine is beyond bicolor. What does that mean? Most bicolor, we go between cool white, warm white LEDs. We blend between the two. This is actually using five different colors, blue, lime, amber, indigo, and red, mixing those together to be able to go one step further in terms of not only the spectral quality, which means that this is going to give you the best white light on the market, something that really has not been seen before. So the Blair color engine, it mixes together those five LEDs, but those five LEDs also means a couple things. Number one, you get consistent brightness across the entire color temperature range, which is one thing that we're very excited about. It does have a little bit of color tunability in there. We actually do add in XY coordinates for that, but again, optimized for being able to create the best possible white light. Now, the second thing we want to show off here is the Pro Lock mount. Now, the yeah, this is really mount, impressive. Very impressive. Again, I think some people will be familiar with something like this mount here, but entirely new to all aperture fixtures coming out in the future and the storm line here. Pro Lock mount, again, we love Bowens, but most of the time, Bowens has the problem where you get a little bit of rattle, right? And the Pro Lock mount is basically using a PL style mount here, where basically now we have locked in and we are ready to go, fully secure here. So rugged that you can actually hold the light from its accessories now with zero rattle whatsoever. Love it. On the front here, you can see something that's coming out with the new series of lights. This real quick is the new compact for now. We are showing it today. I am not talking about it today. So no questions about anything on this for now. So but, tell me more about the for now. Yeah, really, I have nothing to say about it, and that's the end of the interview. <laughs> no, the thing about the compact for now here is that it's about approximately the third the size of the for now before it. Again, same optical quality here, and you get that same spot flood. But again, this size, in terms of being the 1200X, being the compact for now, bringing it into the WIS-1 size. By the way, I didn't mention the 1200X is actually brighter than the 1200D. Now, it depends on how you're measuring it, right? If you're doing hyper-reflector to hyper-reflector, 45-degree beam angle, we're talking about 73% brighter. I would say approximately across the board, it's about 50% brighter than the 1200D. And that's just because we are optimizing those LEDs. Again, two years of technology has gone by, we've been able to make these lights that much brighter. Um, again, compact for now, this design, brighter than 1200D, means that you're getting a crazy amount of horsepower in a ridiculously compact size now. Yeah. Again, this is brighter than a 1.8K HMI uh, with full color tunability. And if I hop over here, you can see that for this light, I'm on 0.1 right now, you have not only a CCT range of 2,500 all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin, but you've also got full green magenta shift here. Very nice. Built in using the ASC MITC Lighting Committee full range. So again, we've actually measured what is a full plus minus green magenta gel, and we've programmed in the exact amount. Again, seems like a no nonsense thing here, but what that means is that when you put in something like minus 25 or plus 25, you're actually getting a quarter plus green, quarter plus magenta. Very so nice. we've measured all these things and built these in. Now, again, it has all the obvious stuff as well too, full CRMX, full DMX, Cytos Link Pro compatibility, IP65 weatherproofing, not just in the head, but also in the ballast itself. And again, low profile weatherproof connectors. So this entire thing is built and designed, because I know we're gonna get the question, to be robust, to survive any condition, to go in the dune desert or the rainstorm, but it's also designed to be serviceable as well too. So field serviceable parts, all these things, it's designed to be opened up and constructed and rebuilt if need be. Fantastic, now, it's a big light. It's a lot of output. How do we keep this thing cool and keep the noise down? Uh, we have, of course, of course, measured uh, decibel ratings for this type of fixture. Uh, basically, we will be releasing all those specs online. We know that this is a video light. We know this is a film light, right? So sound is not going to be a quality with a fixture like this. Okay. And about, uh, how about uh, power consumption? Yeah. Is it uh, com comparable to the other 1200, or is it you know, higher, lower? Talk to me. 
That's right. We're pulling, uh, again, 1,200 as the name would go, 1,200 watts of power. It'll go maybe up to about uh, 1,320 at max, but no higher than that as far as wattage goes. So I, I thought it was interesting that you guys went with the, the Storm 1200. You went to the top. Are you guys going to work down in the line here? Because obviously this is not a one and done. You said it was a Storm line. That's right. So again, the Storm line of fixtures, we're seeing a tunable white here. Again, the best quality of white light out there. What we have not talked about is uh, there will be a tunable color series coming out. I'm not going to go into details about that as well. And all I can really say as far as fixtures go is that there is a small, medium, and large size that will be coming out. And we will leave that up to the imagination for what those will be. But uh, our job here is not to design a single fixture, right? Because on a set, your problem is not answered ever really by a single fixture. It's designing the entire solution, the whole package. Every type of tool, right? A painter doesn't just use one paintbrush. We're designing an entire set. Everything matches and it's standardized in a way that makes, again, the similarities between these fixtures that much easier to use. Not only through the software, through things like Citus Link Pro, matching all the UI UX, but also now with things like color science. Again, the Blair engine will match across all fixtures, which is why it's such a big deal that we update these engines in full batch packages here. And the pricing is, is, is good. It's actually competitive to your own products. It's good. I'd say it's better than good. We worked really hard on this. Uh, we're coming in at approximately $29.90. Uh, that is, again, decidedly less than the 1200D Pro. And for people that are going to ask that question, again, two years have gone by. We are working extremely hard to make this not only affordable, but again, best in class. So for anyone out there that's wondering, every part of the Lightstorm 1200D Pro we have expanded upon built beyond, and again, the technology that's in the 1200D Pro, everything that's in there has been put in here and expanded upon. Yeah. So it only gets better, time gets better, the gear gets better as we go on. And when can people expect to buy one of these? Shipping end of this month. Stormline fixtures coming out soon. Uh, but this one again, end of this month, which I know for a lot of people out there, we announce it's available. And um, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the Fresnel yeah. and how compact it is. Yeah. And how did and you do that? that? We also have nothing to say, <sighs> except that you can see it, and that we really like the way that it looks. I tried, I tried, I tried, folks. That was good. <laughs> All right, have a great show, Ted. Thanks so much, Eric.